What's up, everybody? It is Friday Mastermind time. Uh, this is going to be a little unique because I'm going to be interviewing the one and only Todd Books fan today. What's up, my man? Hey, you know, it is always exciting to be here. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to be in the hot seat, right? We put other people in the hot seat all the time. And I'm just excited to uh, share uh, a little deeper on some things that I'm super passionate about right now that I think will help uh, loan officers uh, gain some traction as we finish out this year and head into 2023. So, so guys, you know, we we heard from Deborah that she wasn't going to be able to make it today because she's been at Todd Duncan's High Trust Academy uh, for like three days. So, first of all, really want to recognize Deborah and and that event, the High Trust Academy. I saw a picture on Wally, Wally Elderberry's. Facebook yesterday, and it was a picture of a bunch of top producing loan officers that invested in their career by going to the high trust economy, and they were all having dinner together at Wally's house. And, you know, what, what came to my mind immediately is just like, wow, you know, the impact that Todd has had with High Trust Academy is, is, is truly astounding. You know, it's a very important event in the industry. And it was also just a reminder that the lifelong friendships that get created from going to these live events and then having meals together, um, having mastermind experience together. It's, you know, it's one of the things that makes the mortgage industry so special and so killer. So um, if you have ever been to a high trust academy and you've gotten value from it, let me know in comments down before, down below. And, and if you don't even know what I'm talking about, like you're new to the business or you're new to this community, you're like, what's that? Um, you know, we'll, we'll put a link so that you can know about it and go to the next one, you know, check out toddduncan.com. So Todd and I were going solo today and we're like, what guests, like who, who should be the guests, who should be the topic? And, and, and one of the things that I became like, it was my idea. I'll get credit for it. Is I'm like, Todd Bookspan is the guest. So, so guys, a lot of people don't realize this, but Todd and his team, you know, the, the branch led by his wife, has done over $100 million a year in volume since 2016. So I don't think there are a lot of teams out there that have consistently done over $100 million. And, and then what's even more impressive than that, it's over 400 units. So, so they consistently do over 400 loans. And, and they've had a couple of years where they've done two years where they've done over 500 loans. So that is really special. To be in the 500 year alone year club, it means you know how to close loans at scale. It means you know how to generate leads at scale. And to be able to do that for as many years as they've done it, it means you know how to create a, a, a um, sustainable mortgage practice that creates wealth. Uh, so, so Todd is our guest today. So Todd, before we get into how are you going to close the year strong and what are you going to do next year to kill it, um, how how are you going to close out the year this year? Um, we'll close out the year this year, um, probably 110 million. Um, and so, you know, I think like other folks, you know, it's down 20, just over 20% from last year. And so, you know, you never want to be down, but, you know, ultimately that's why, you know, I'm fired up and have uh, ideas and strategies that my team is implementing now in order to ensure that next year we get back on track because you know we want to get back over 150 million and that is um, that's the key and I think whether you're you know some people when they hear someone say 100 million 150 million hundreds of loans and aren't doing that uh, you think yo I should tune out this isn't for me but really the strategies that I'm going to talk about whether you're you know closing 5 million or 10 million or 210 million they're the strategies that matter right now. Good. I love that. So one more frame I'll put around Todd Bookspan where we just get into the interview and the mastermind is that he's now had um, Win by Noon. How many years have you you been um, rocking it out with Win by Noon? Five and a half, if you can believe that. It just blows me away whenever I, if you said, oh, how long? I think like two, three years, but it's been five and a half years. It's been a great journey. So he, you know, he took a great idea, Win by Noon, created a planner that he used and now how many how many different loan officers and realtors you know use win by noon to you know do their annual planning their monthly planning their weekly planning and their daily activity tracking how many well we just uh we just have a new uh, coaching organization that's coming on with 5 600 loan officers so that puts us close to 3000 as we head into head into Q2 of next year so super excited about that so and then one last thing before we just get after it 
is, you know, Todd always has, was really well known for being this guy that could, you know, build an organization that could do 500 loads. And so there would be a lot of names that you know, that you recognize, they'd get stuck at like 200, 300. And, and Todd was, is really well known as like, hey, he's a coach that can help someone, you know, do those big units on an annual basis. And then for the past year, where Todd's true passion is as a coach, is like group coaching, because he remembers what it was like before he could close, let's just say 100 loans consistently a year. He knows what that's like. And so he's also one of the very few people that has figured out how to do group coaching to help people just like get in the 100 loan a year club. So, so Todd, how many people have gone through your, your coaching program and have you have you influenced and touched? And let's just say, um, you know, less than 100 loans a year. How many different people have you coached or helped? You know, this year I've done three different groups and uh, between the three groups, we've been probably a total of over 350 loan officers that have gone through it. And, you know, my reason for it is, you know, with Win by Noon, I never want to compete with the coaching organizations that are out there because I think there's great coaches out there for someone who can afford a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month for coaching. And um, but what I realize is, is that that there's not a great solution out there for folks who are not in a position to afford that. And so what's been um, I guess humbling and, and really something I've really enjoyed is that every group that I've done has been about three quarters brand, you know, built up a brand new and people who are struggling to do five loans a month. And then 25% have been just, you know, 50, $100 million. I've had a couple hundred fifty million dollar producers in the groups. Um, and so that's been, you know, that's been a lot of fun. And so, you know, stay tuned. I'll announce what um, I'm doing for Q1 of next year. Um, but ultimately, you know, for me, it's about rolling up your sleeves and, you know, working hard. I mean, you mentioned it, right? I, you know, I was able to coach some of the best of the best people that we have on stage at the Modern Mortgage Summit. And, um, and that was really what I was known for, because, you know, what happened to me was even, you know, the irony is now I'm thinking about it, that I've done over 100 million as a team for the last seven years, for the three years prior to that, we did pretty good numbers. Um, we did um, eight, over 80 million, over 400 units a year for three straight years. And that's that's really kind of where the win by noon story started because I was super frustrated. It was um, great financially. Um, you know, we were recognized, you know, in the top 50 United States as a loan officer. And um, that was super cool, but it wasn't what I had put in my vision, right? My vision was I was a $100 million producer and I was just kind of stuck. And what I realized is, is that I was stuck because I knew what I had to do, but I didn't do it consistently because I got distracted in the mornings. I let other people schedule meetings when it was convenient for them. And when I made that one change of really blocking my calendar from 830 to 1130 and doing those activities consistently, building out my ideal week and the things that um, I was tracking and recording and, you know, the activities inside of Win by Noon. That's when um, I went, uh, you know, from 80 million to 115 million in a year, you know, 550 plus units and, uh, you know, 40, almost 45% increase in one year. And then ironically, the next year is the year I got out of loan production and did uh, coaching. But all of a sudden, my my friends that I had in the in the coaching world that I was in, in groups with were like, hey, I want you to coach me so I can learn to do that as well. So that was kind of, you know, the impetus for my journey was the fact that I just got frustrated and uh, realized that if I did the things that I listened to, right, all the things that, you know, you were interviewing people in here long before I was part of this, uh, you know, before we created this community and I was part of it every week. I mean, you were interviewing oh. the best, best. The roadmap is pretty clear. It's just that most people don't take action on the roadmap or, take inconsistent action on the roadmap. And I was just able to uh, take consistent action by quote unquote, winning by noon. All right, so let's let's get into the interview. Let's get into how, what exactly is Todd doing? You know, it is December 2nd of 2022 and 2023 starts now. Like it literally, what you do between now and the end of the month will dictate your success in January and February. And your success in January and February will dictate your success as we enter spring home buying season. So, so it, it really does start now. Um, you know, this is a mastermind, guys. So if you're in Zoom and you have a question or a comment, put it in chat. Uh, I have really, as a speaker, been digging. Um, where, where is it? I don't see it in our dashboard down below. But there's, do we not have those little emojis in this? Um Robert, if you're listening to this and there's a feature that I've been seeing in Zoom where people can like give hearts and clap, I don't see it in my screen. Maybe it's because I'm the organizer and the host, but but if you see that little place where you can, in the bottom panel, you can clap your hands or give a heart, um, please do that. 
Um, also, if you're watching this in Facebook or YouTube and you have questions or comments, like they're valuable. You know, they're valuable to everyone. I'll call them out. Um, Marina just said, I can attest to his coaching program. Amazing, all in caps. So thank you for, thank you for that, Marina. Um, so, so Tom, what, what are you and your team doing to close the year strong? Well, first off, Marina's a rock star. Thanks, Marina. I appreciate that. Um, you know, it's, it's funny. Like I said, I don't think there's any um, brand new and original ideas out there. Um, but my number one strategy that I'm deploying, and really it's based off of a post that you did where you took what Dan Keller is doing. Um, and then I'm just making it a non-negotiable with my team. And then as uh, I believe you have to lead by example. And so what Dan did was his coach told him, Hey, Dan, your numbers aren't as good as they should be. You need to call more real estate agents and had Dan commit to calling a hundred real estate agents in one day. And so I have committed not only just to do it this next Monday, where I'm going to be dialing 100 real estate agents alongside of my team. I've also got people in my group coaching group that are going to be dialing alongside of me. And now I'm going to invite all of you. Um, and here's how I'm doing it from an accountability perspective. You know, number one is the more people you tell about something, then the more accountable you're going to have to be. And in this case, I'm actually going to open up my private Zoom room and I'm going to mute myself. And then everyone else is going to join in. We're all going to see each other's pictures. I, you know, it's not like we got hundreds of people. I think I got maybe, you know, a dozen people that have committed to make at least 50 calls. I'm going to target 100 calls because um, I think every one of you can make 50 calls to realtors. You can figure out what that looks like. And I'll walk through what my strategy and how I'm approaching it um, to be make sure that I can do that. And ultimately, um, you know, that Zoom room will be where we can see each other. And then I've committed that I'm going to cold call 10 realtors that I don't know. Um, and so I'm going to try to pick some pretty big fish. Um, like yesterday, I just interviewed the number one individual agent in all of the Phoenix marketplace, Maricopa County. So I'll talk to her, but it won't be a cold call now that I just met her yesterday and interviewed her. Um, but, you know, ultimately, I'm going to pick some pretty big fish. And on those, I'll probably, you know, hold up a, you know, hold up a sign that says, hey, all right, I'm going live and I'll unmute myself if anyone wants to listen as I either um, you know, crush it and then get these amazing conversations with these realtors that I don't know or crash and burn. So hopefully I won't be crashing and burning. Hopefully I'll be crushing it. Um, and on my end, I'm actually going to record it um, all day so that for uh, I'm going to make that recording, recording available for uh, my uh, coaching clients. And so that we can hear um, all of my conversations. So I'm living to all my conversations on speakerphone. So on my end that people will hear it. But um, so that's my desired end result, my anticipation. So let me kind of let me kind of frame a couple of things. It's not the first time this year I'm doing a hundred call day. Again, we interviewed Jeremy Forcier earlier in the year, and you know, kind of in a basketball game. You guys have all been to a game, and you know, the team is winning by thirty points at the end of the game, and so they call it garbage time. They throw in all the people off the bench for garbage time. And we interviewed Jeremy earlier this year, and I call it in the garbage time, like the last three minutes of the call. It might have been even the last one minute of the call. Jeremy goes, "Hey, by the way." I did a hundred call challenge the other day and I got a hold of 81 people. And uh, so Jeremy had committed uh, or had told us they had committed the week before to call a hundred realtors. He said, I only got 81 calls done. And so people are like, well, he didn't call a hundred. Well, you know what? A hundred is freaking hard. And so I, again, I opened my big mouth. And then that Friday I called a hundred or I, I may say that differently. I intended to call a hundred realtors. I called 84. Um, Two reasons. Number one is, is that I did this call in the morning. Then Dave calls me afterwards. He's like, what are you doing, bro? I'm like, dude, I'm supposed to be calling hundred people. So I'm like, I got to go. Um, so I allowed uh, people to interrupt me, um, but I got 84. Way, did my call count? When I called you, did that? Did that did not count? Because that wasn't an outbound dial on my part. So no, in, so no incoming calls count. Even if it was uh, like a baller realtor that is calling you to see if they can give you a referral. Well, I would answer their call, but I wouldn't count it as one of my hundred outbound calls. Okay. Okay. Right. All so right. so sure if I called them and I left them a voicemail and they called me back, then, I, you know, again, it doesn't count as two calls, but it counts as a conversation. Right. Because there's two parts to it. Right. You have you have the outbound call. So we track how many um, that's an activity. We record that activity in order to determine how many calls do I have to make in order to get a hold of realtors. Um, and so, you know, in that case, I mean, again, I made. 84 calls and I talked to almost 50 realtors. I got to pull out the numbers. It's funny. You know, where am I going to find it? I'm going to find it in my planner because I, I record those activities. Um, but, you know, ultimately in the end, it's going to be, uh, you know, to me, it's a game. I'm gamifying it and I'm creating that high level of accountability because everyone's going to be watching me. I'm going to do it from 8 a.m. Mountain Time um, to 5.30 Mountain Time. Um, and then the crazy part for me is I've got to be on, uh, I got my own coaching call with Jonathan Roach. So that's going to take me out for 30 minutes. Um, there's going to be two hours in the day. I, where I, I say you, I say you reschedule everything, guys. Like, what, what do you think, Todd? 
you know, like if anyone's listening to this and they have a reschedulable meeting, you know, what do you, what do you say that just, we make Monday, you know, totally clean. Right, that's, now, obviously that's, if you have something you can't reschedule, you can't reschedule, but I'm just saying from a leadership perspective, I can just picture people going, Oh, well, I already have this meeting and I already have that meeting. Guys, you could reschedule it. I mean, how many times do you have a guy like Todd Bookspan that's going to be doing something like this? How many times do you have an opportunity to get on Zoom with a lot of, you know, mortgage badasses that share the same goals and mission and, and just push yourself? Like how, like not only can you make those calls, but can you be present in making prospecting calls? So I'll leave, you don't have to commit to reschedule with Jonathan on this call. I'm just committing. I'll commit right now. I, I looked at it and see, so I've got my win by noon webinar. So I will, uh, I will, uh, I will have Deborah run that without me. And then I have a realtor mastermind on zoom. That's supposed to be after my Jonathan call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on there and I'm going to, um, ask him real quick. I don't know who's speaking, but I'm going to ask him real quick. Hey, can I have a conversation with you all before I get going? And then I'm going to look at who's all in there. There's about 15 agents on last time. They're all on my call list that I built for this week. I'm going to see if there's any new agents on there, but I'm going to let them all know, Hey, y'all, um, I'm going to be calling you today and I'm expecting you to pick up the phone. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to throw that out there. I'll get on that mastermind for a few minutes, but, um, my plan is I'm going to bring in a second laptop so that, um, when I like have to jump in that zoom, I'll jump in from my other laptop. So I don't knock us off my, my zoom call. And, but I think that's accountability, right? Time out, jump in time out, time out. I, I just want to make sure everybody heard that. So Todd, he's leading by example. He's throwing a challenge out there. First of all, people are asking, how do they get signed up for this? Like, how do they um, be part of your, your Zoom event? Is there a link? Um, email me. I don't have the link yet. So email me, Todd, at winbynoon.com, and I will email you the link. And I'll get okay. the link um, after this call. I'll get the link, and I'll put it into the Facebook group. So that way, um, if you're watching this in Facebook, I'll put it in there. Or I'll, maybe I'll do a separate post on it. That's probably what I'll do. I'll do a separate and post. And then, and then if someone wanted to, you know, see the recording, well, well, first of all, I'm not going to ask you to do that because it sounds like the recording of that is something that is just for your coaching clients. Um, but, but would, you, could we get you and Adam to create like a, a 15 minutes greatest hits so that there was something, you know, that, Hey, from a day of a, making a hundred calls, here are some of the most valuable pieces that we could put in the mortgage coach YouTube channel. And then here's another ask. And then maybe, I don't know if we have someone scheduled next Friday, but then like do a debrief on that. Like, Hey, lessons learned from making a hundred calls in a day. Are you willing to, to do one or two of the things I just asked for? All right. So I will, um, I'll modify it a little bit. Yes. I'll do a video of, of a couple of calls with Adam, you know, Adam's uh, kind of maxed right now with everything with, with win by noon and getting ready for, Modern Mortgage Summit marketing. I might be able to have my team help with that um, too, Todd. Like if you just okay, tell me where the edits cool. are. But I'll I'll get you guys a video that that we can post, and um, but it won't be the full video. That's that'll be my my coaching right. crew. Of course, but so. you can all listen. You know, again, I'll I'll make some during the day live next Friday. I won't be able to be on there. I'm going to be actually in a mastermind with Ben Kinney. So since Ben Kinney's company place in the real estate world um, is now valued at a billion dollars after their hundred million dollar. Uh, investment from Goldman Sachs. Um, I got invited to That's be crazy, in bro. Mind, uh, with him and Brian Gubernick um, on when Thursday and Friday of next week. So um, I think I'll probably, I'll see what the schedule looks like and I'll let you know, Dave, I'll ask them if they can tell me what that morning looks like. If it's something I can opt out of for an hour and beyond, if not, I'll do it. The, I'll and, do then, and then also, also we can either, you know, we, we do have a pretty packed schedule this month, but I promise either we'll get Todd to do a debrief of, you know, lessons learned from a hundred calls in one day. So make a note of that, like that will be coming. And if we can't fit it into a Tuesday or Friday this month, Todd and I will just do an ad hoc 30 minute interview that will be in both the mortgage coach YouTube channel and we'll stream it live in this group. So uh, stay tuned for that. Those two takeaways. Um, by the way, Todd, a, a question came um, So by the way, I'm, I'm seeing everything from game on to I'm on it to William saying, what is your time per call? How do you, how do you think about that? And how would you answer that question? Okay. So that's, that's a great question. So real quick, let me add one thing, Dave, just when you say, what's the total strategy I've actually committed 
um, to myself. I haven't told my team or anyone else. So this is the thing. I'm actually going to do this call this coming Monday, the following Monday, and the Monday before Christmas. So I'm actually going to be doing it for the next three. And then um, I'm not going to promise yet, but it's probably likely I'll do it the first week of the new year. Because, you know, again, for me, when I'm doing my, my realtor calls, I recommend people do them on Thursdays because it's ahead of the weekend. You can protect your weekend, get those prequals that they're hiding from you out of the way. Um, but you know, around the holidays, it's super easy, right? Hey, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, super grateful for you. What are you doing for the holidays? Right. I write that in my CRM because my brain's not that good. And then I can call them back afterwards and say, Hey, how was your, you know, how was your time in Oregon with your, you know, grandkids or whatever they were doing for their, you know, for their vacation. So it's such an easy time to connect. And then um, for me, because, you know, I'm all about business planning right now. Um, it's a great opportunity to catch anyone who hasn't business planned and get them to business plan with me. It's a great opportunity for me to um, business plan with, uh, you know, with folks um, after the year or revisit their business plan. And so, um, so let me answer William's question. And then I'll, I'll talk about the business planning piece, because I think that's an important part, because part of it's, um, let me talk, well, actually, so William, um, or all of you, the, the time per call depends, right? So um, I actually reached out to Dan Keller and said, hey, Dan, how did it go? How'd your 100 calls go? And he said he did 70 some odd calls the first time. So again, 100 calls is hard. He started at 945 in the morning and went to 530. I'm starting at eight and going to 530 because my goal is 100 calls. I mean, I really do want to make 100 dials. And, you know, when I've, I, I've, uh, I'll talk about building my call list in a second. I actually expect the majority of people to pick up my phone call right? They have my phone number programmed in their phone. They're going to know it's me and I'm expecting they're going to pick it up. And I'm expecting the people who I'm cold calling to maybe not pick it up. And so um, Dan said, my coach told me I wasn't very good at the calls because it took me so long. And then he also said, though, gosh, I actually want to connect with these people, right? He said it was really interesting. And so I think the conversation, my goal is, I told my team this morning, my goal is a three to five minute phone call. But if somebody wants to talk to me for 10 minutes, especially a real estate agent that's not currently working with my team, that's not currently committed to be a partner with my team, I'm going to give them as much time as they need in order for me to build that connection, in order for me to figure out what it is that my team can do to help them thrive in 2023. And I'm willing to invest that time. However, I'm going to be strategic. I'm going to do my best to get off in three to five minutes. Um, and so I think that that's really the key, but there's just no reason to hurry the call. The last thing you want to do is have a realtor actually answer the phone. And granted, they all have a lot of time to talk right now. Um, Dan said the number one most surprising thing was that he really believed they're all getting hammered by real estate agents. And he said that was absolutely, absolutely opposite the case. He said they're not hearing from loan officers at all. All the more reason that this challenge is needed because they want to, you know, they want to connect. Um, he said it was kind of interesting. He said that there was, he felt victory, freedom, and peace on the other side of making those calls, right? I mean, again, think about that. You know, we all have call reluctance and call reluctance comes around the idea that you don't have value to add. And so let's just sort of talk about um, what that looks like, you know, in just a sec. But um, any thoughts or questions on that day before I kind of talk through what my prep looks like, kind of what my call conversations are going to be, and then, um, you know, really how I'm going to execute on the things I'm talking to him about. So, um, hang on, let me just, so, so guys, I just want everybody to pause on that, those three words, victory, freedom, and peace. You know, we, we are in a marketplace where there's just a lot of things we cannot control. And, you know, fortunately this week, you know, the Fed made a signal and rates started to head down and that, you know, that is a macroeconomic win for the week. But, you know, we've had a lot of macroeconomic um, losses this year. In fact, you know, never have rates gone up so fast in a year of, of macroeconomic things that we absolutely do not control. But, um, you know, when I think of how we want to enter the year of 2023, myself included, um, I never heard those three words put together, you know, like I've used the word victory and I know what it means. I use the word freedom. I know what it means and peace. I know what it means. But guys, if if you could literally in a in a in a in an industry where there's so many things outside of your control, you could take in a day and do something that I almost guarantee would develop, would create a, a day of victory, freedom, and peace for every single loan officer. I mean, that's pretty powerful. Um, for the for the innovation team, you know, where we create micro content and articles. 
um, guys, we need to create some content. You know, with that is the theme in the headline. It's just so powerful. And, and so anyways, Todd, I applaud you. You know, we're 28 minutes into this call. So I think we've already like crushed what are we doing to close the year strong? Um, and I definitely want to get into some ideas for next year. But but I just think, you know, super powerful three words. Um, and I would just leave everybody with the thought, what are you, you going to do on Monday? What are you going to do to plan today and over the weekend so that you can achieve victory, freedom, and peace? And, and my guess is there's probably nothing you can do better than email Todd, be part of his 100-day call challenge, and, and not only will you, you'll get some loans, you'll pick up some market share with some realtors, and regardless of the results that you have, you're going to be super proud of yourself. You're going to win the day, um, and, and you're going to really feel good about yourself. So let's let's get after that. So Todd, um, in the next 30 minutes of the call, I, you know, I know you've got lots of ideas to share. Um, you know, where do you want to go next to make sure we don't run out of time before you share the most important gold of the day? Let me um, let me just frame just a couple of things, and then you and I can decide where to go from there. So let me first frame how to prepare for it, right? So again, you're going to email me, Todd at winbynoon.com, and I'll get you the link um, so that you can sign up. I will put it also into the Mortgage Coach and Win by Noon Mastermind you know, Facebook groups. Um, so that way you're in there. That's the accountability, right? You're going to be in a room with hopefully dozens of other loan officers. Um, I commit to be there all day. I'll be there all day. And um, everyone's going to be on mute. So you'll see everyone dial and then I'll hold up my sign if I'm going to unmute and go live if you want to hear calls. And again, it could just be nothing because it could be a bunch of voicemails, but you'll hear my voicemails I'm leaving and all of that. Um, but hopefully you'll hear some conversations. So, but the number one thing you have to do today um, before Monday is a call list. So um, again, if you don't have a, if you're not ready to dial a hundred people, um, and again, I think the minimum standard is 50. You all know at least 50 realtors that you either are in business with, used to be in business with, or want to be in business with. Um, and I would encourage you all to shoot for a hundred, but shoot for a minimum standard of 50. And, um, and then you got to build the call list out. So for me, I normally just go into my CRM and I've got a, a list, but I just did a fresh list in a, an Excel spreadsheet. It's got their name. It's got their phone number. Um, some of them have how I know them next to it. If it was referred by a certain person, so I can bring that up. Oh, hey, remember I worked with you, you know, five years ago on the Dave Savage loan or whatever that would be. Um, where what typically where I met them is is mine. Like, hey, remember I met you at that other event, and um, and I'm not going to cherry pick. I'm going to just start at the top of the list and go to the bottom. And the reason why is again, I don't want to have to think twice. You're if I only prep, I've got 54 names in there right now. I'll have 100 in there before Monday. Um, and uh, actually I'll probably have 110 in there because what uh, there's nothing stopping me from doing 110 calls if it's 520 and I still can make more calls. Um, but I don't want to have to think twice about it. I don't, you know, again, if I have to go, oh gosh, who am I calling next and start looking things up, then I've lost. I'm already going to not get a hundred calls. It has to be ready to go. So, you know, number one is build your, your call list and you're going to build it from your phone. If you don't have a CRM that's got it all, you're going to go into your phone. Hopefully you mark realtor. So like anyone that's a realtor in my phone, it says realtor in there is the company that they work for. So I can just search realtor and you're just going to put them all, all those names onto your, onto your call list. Um, if you've hopefully done a good job of tracking who the listing agents are on your transactions, hopefully you were doing your weekly update calls. Um, but whether you did or didn't, I don't care. Every listing agent from the last uh, two, three years can go on that call list. And then um, any other agent that you might know from somewhere that, or that you want to work with, if you don't, if not go to Facebook and then open up your friends list and look at who all the realtors are on there and just say, gosh, I've been friends with you on Facebook, right? I mean, that's going to be your, your script, um, for, you know, for that one. Um, Dave, can you post a link to that post that you did with Dan Keller, where he posted his voicemail? Cause I thought his voicemail was great, um, that he is doing, um, yes, so we'll innovation, some call team, team. innovation team at mortgage coach. Let's, uh, figure out what posts Todd's talking about and we'll, it was a, we'll get yeah, it was a post that you did, or maybe your team did for you, but it's in the, it's in the channel, but it's got, it's got uh, Dan's script and I'll just give a couple of scripts. Well, it, will, guys, it will be, it will, I'll push it to the top of the, um, the group. I, I, I think I know which one you're referring to. I do want to comment on that though, real quick. Um, Cause I, I interviewed Jay Kroll this this week oh i love jay but by, by the way guys it was it was really a special leadership interview he he shared um what i what i refer to as like little micro lessons around leadership and you know one of those lessons was you know we're in a market where we need to be wolves and you know he actually talked about like alpha predator wolves you know last year 
you know, he, he used the analogy of my little dog, Fluffy, you know, cute little dog and, you know, can be really successful in years like 2020 and 2021 when it's raining loans. But when you have to challenge right now, we, we got to be wolves. So first of all, listen to that call. And, and he did address scripts. And, you know, while he, 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 he didn't totally love that script, um, what I took from Jay is make the calls, be yourself, be authentic. So, so you know, we're not going to really get into scripting on this because guys, Todd's going to do, you know, a full day of scripting on Monday. So sign up, listen, and we're going to have a lessons learned, takeaways, and we'll, we'll share some scripting best practices. But, but I just, I just want to emphasize folks, um, get after it, like make calls. Don't worry about what you're saying. Just show up, be authentic. And, and if there was a North star, like the North star that I would give everybody making these calls, it's how many calls can you make and how many people can you help? Like, like that's what you're there for is, you know, Hey, I'm calling exciting market, you know, opportunities, you know, what's your biggest problem? You know, I'm here to solve problems. Like if you can just get the mindset that you're a problem solver and, and you're there to, to let people know that and you want to know what their problems are, you know, that a lender can solve, it's going to lead to gold. So, so Todd, we got 25 minutes left. I want to get into some other big ideas, but anything else you want to make sure we cover on this 100 call deal for, before yeah, we let transition? Me, let, me add, let me add two things, and then one of them will lead into the other idea. So number one, someone asked if I'm qualifying based on the number of their production numbers. Um, the answer is 90% no. Um, it's who I'm in relationship with that I think can direct business to my team. So I don't care if they got one transaction they can direct next year or 100. Um, again, I don't want, I'm not overthinking it. That's if I, if I focus on their numbers, then I'm creating a uh, friction. I'm going to slow down my, my just building out the list. So my goal is to connect and have um, quality conversations with people that matter in the business and see how I can help them. And then the reason I said 90% is because 10% I committed to call people who I don't know that I'm not in relationship and I'm going to call people that are, that are doing big numbers. So I, if I'm going to invest my time in calling a cold call of a realtor, I'm going to go after some, some big producers that, you know, are probably doing, you know, I haven't picked my number yet, but probably be in the neighborhood of minimum of two, probably, but more likely five to 10 buyer side transactions per month that they direct by leading a team or something else. You know, that's probably who I'll go after. And so, um, so again, don't overthink it. Just think about who is it that you want to go after. And worst case is if you don't have them in your phone, if you don't have them in your CRM, go to Facebook and see who is in there that, that, you know, number Two thing hey, is that time off before you, you go to that. So guys, you know, he's going to call people, you know, first that are, let, let's call more calls, relationship calls. Um, I would recommend that if there's any, un, like just successful, uncool people that, you know, you, you know, they're either energy vampires or, you know, they're a mixed bag. Um, I would either not put them on the list or I would save them for the back of the list. So by the time you call them, you're feeling so much victory so much freedom, so much peace that now we call, you know, either the, the, the questionable people don't, don't kick things off, call them buzzkills, like stack the deck a little bit to where you're calling your, the people that will have the most impact, they will get your vibe going. So, so by the time, you know, you're calling the tougher calls, you know, you got some energy and vibe going. I wouldn't even start with cold calls. I would start with Let's let's get some vibe. Let's get some fun. And now, you know, let's let's make the hard calls. Let's make the cold calls and save the marginally uncool people for the end. And for the totally well-known uncool people, um, they're not on the list for this day. Like we take them off the list. 100%, right? No energy vampires. Like they're, if they're an energy vampire, they're not making my list. And I agree, Dave, I'll, I'll probably do my cold calls two thirds of the way through the day. Number one is I'm gonna have huge momentum. I'll be super pumped up because I've already talked to all these people. And um, and I don't want to wait till the end of the day, since I'm going to jump on and, and unmute myself to do some of those calls. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it that way. And um, you know, one of the things I teach in my group coaching is who's your partner avatar. And so kind of as I'm thinking is I'm going to build out this list because I haven't done it yet. Um, my best avatar for me is people who run big teams. 
because someone who runs a team wants to work with a team. They're probably read the millionaire real estate agent book and they want a seventh level leader. Like they want to be a seventh level leader like I am. And so they're going to, they're going to be attracted to what we do and how I do it as a, as a team leader. And so I think that's probably, those will be the people that I'm going to call. So just be prepared for that. Um, and then I would tell you the easy button for me to give to you guys as um, you know, kind of as a, as an idea is number one is I'm running next week. I can't remember what day it's Tuesday or Wednesday, um, but here's the link to it. I'm going to run a webinar next week on business planning for you. And then the second part of it's going to be how to do this with your partners. So what I would say is the easiest thing to do, and it's what Dan Keller did, um, for his folks is he said, the number one thing that's urgent for you, he didn't tell him it in the voicemails he left, but he said, I want to help you business plan. Um, and then what Dan did was he invited him to a live event on how to plan their business. And in your case, what I'm going to give you is I'll get another link up. I'll have it by Monday and I'll give it to you all in, in the chat of the Zoom room that we're going to be in is, is um, you're going to then, uh, again, you got you to gotta attend these classes and be comfortable with it, but I'm going to teach you how to use my free business planning tool. So again, it's not going to cost you anything. I'm going to teach you how to business plan for yourself because you have to do it for yourself first before you can do it for somebody else. And then I'm going to teach you how to do it with your partners. And then I'm going to give you the easy button. The other link I'll give you on Monday is I'll run a webinar, um, probably not next week. I'll do it at the beginning of the following week. Um, I'll run a webinar on business planning for realtors that you can invite your real estate agents to so that you don't have to teach them yourself. So if you're nervous, like I'm not going to be able to do this myself or you know, great, then you'll say, awesome. Hey, I really am excited about business planning. Um, I've got a friend in the business. His name is Todd Bookspan. He runs a company called Win by Noon. Um, and he is a master at business planning. He's been teaching business planning to realtors. Um, he's taught it to thousands of realtors and he's going to be doing a special webinar just for me and my clients, uh, me and my realtors. So you can say that because it's just for you and your realtors. There's just going to be lots of you on there. Um, and then I'll welcome all say, I'm so happy you're here. You know, I can't believe, you know, I'm so glad that you got invited to be part of this webinar and I'll teach the business planning because then you'll be able to go back afterwards and you'll be able to, to follow, create the accountability and the follow-up plan that I'll talk about on the webinar that I just gave you guys the link to. So does that make sense, Dave? Right. They're going to learn from me how to do their business plan. They're going to learn from me how to teach it. And then I'll provide the, the business planning webinar that you can invite them to where I'll teach your realtors um, alongside of you if you don't want to teach them yourself. Cool. So love it. So we got 19 minutes left. What other ideas, strategies, things that will help um, loan according, you know, Todd Bookspan, what are you doing to close the year strong? I think, I think you've crushed that. And, and what are you doing to, you know, create value for people to improve your success, uh, to make money in 2023? So that'll be, so business planning is going to be my go-to. Um, and then my team is working with HOA.com. I won't, I won't go down the rabbit hole of the details on that. That'll be something that like Matt will be talking to people about. And then the third one is going to be the ERC stuff that I'm doing with uh, Bill Hillestad, right? So the employee retention credits. Um, again, it's not going to be an every conversation, um, but the people that I really get deep into it with, then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to steer towards that, um, that conversation. So, so let's, let's unpack that because one, um, first of all, if I, if I if it was in a live audience, I'd say, Hey, raise your hand. If you know what Todd was just talking about. And, and by the way, my, my guess is a lot of hands would raise. I mean, I know what it is because, you know, I'm a business owner. I know, um, heck, I know people in the mortgage coach community that have successfully um, done ERC credits. And then I know all my entrepreneur business friends, you know, I'm like, dude, did you check this out? And if not, um, you know, Bill Hillstad has a, has a strategy. So what, what, for anybody who doesn't know what you're talking about when you say that, what are you, what are you talking about and what are you doing? So I'll give the brief synopsis here, and then I've got a, a fairly short video. It's like a 12-minute video. I can I'll get you guys a link to. Um, in fact, I'll just it, type it in here. It's it's uh, you know I'm not very sophisticated in my thinking. It's it's called do I refer erc.com, and at do I refer erc.com. Maybe Robert, you might need to put a www in front of that to make it so it's a shareable link. Um, but that's where I walk through. So I did a, on the win by noon YouTube channel, there's a 45 minute interview I did with Bill Hillestead. 
Um, and then I took what Bill said and I just took the bullet points and I put it in that, I think it's like 11, 12 minute video. That is really what you need to know about ERC and then really how the referral process works and how you can make money, which I'll give you a little hint into that. But but the so that's that's number one. And then I also actually have some videos that that you can use to educate your potential referrals that you're going to sign up for this. So yeah, you did a great job, Dave. You referred over a couple of your baller entrepreneur friends, but really what an ERC credit is, it stands for employee retention credit. And it was created as part of the CARES Act when COVID hit. And at that time, you could either get a PPP loan or you could get an ERC loan. And everyone got PPP loans because they were easy and they were fast. Uh, ERC is extremely complex. Um, and then they came out with a consolidated act at the end of the year, which said you can get both PPP and ERC, but they didn't put any clarification on it, the IRS. And so the IRS put clarification on it um, later in 2021. And then the crazy part is the IRS estimates between 75 and 80% of businesses are eligible for it. And that only 4% of businesses have actually applied for it. So that's why they're making a big push on it right now. Um, and in our group that Bill has created, our, our, I call it our marketing funnel. Um, I'll call it that to you all, but that's not what you want to tell a, a, a potential ERC client. Um, it's up to $26,000 per, oh, in our group, we've had, we've had over 90% of the people have come through that have been eligible. Um, but it's, it's up to $26,000 per W-2 employee that was employed during COVID. Um, and the, it can't be for big businesses. It's for businesses with 500 or less employees. And the accounting group that we're working with does not want to work with groups that have, oops, wait, my battery is about to die for some reason. That's not good. How did that happen? All right, now we're good. Plugged into the wrong port. Um, the uh, Up to $26,000 per employee, 500 uh, employees or less during COVID. Um, and then the accounting firm wants a minimum of five, right? So, um, so the reason I say that this may be a conversation I'm having with realtors. So this number one realtor who was in my office yesterday, she told me on my podcast when I interviewed her how much, how much she loves helping small businesses. So my conversation with her on Monday, I already know she has a business plan. She's a baller. And she told me what her business plan was. So I'm going to call her and say, Hey, I've got a great way for you to help small businesses. Um, would you be willing to, um, would you be willing to get me there? name, email address, and phone number um, in order for me then to have you refer them over to get these employee retention credits. So that's going to be my conversation. So um, my goal with this is, um, you know, a lot of loan officers who've signed up are overthinking this, right? So um, really the bottom line is it's an opportunity for you to help businesses. Um, like we just had a loan officer who referred over his mortgage company. Um, they have 150 employees right now, but they had almost 200 employees during COVID. Um, they're potentially going to get a few million dollars for uh, for ERC, and ironically, the loan officer who referred it's probably going to get between thirty and forty thousand dollars as a check. Now, that's an extreme example. Um, we had a small mortgage company who did it; um, they are getting two hundred and twenty thousand dollars back. We had a doctor who did it; they're getting one hundred and sixty thousand dollars back. They've got less than ten employees, and so these are small groups. Um, but think about that. The, the person who referred over, which is a loan officer in our community, referred over the other mortgage company. It's not where he works, ironically. It's a friend of a friend. Um, he's getting a $2,200 check. Um, Adam on my team referred over the doctor. Um, he's getting a $1,600 check. Um, and so it's just these small little wins without creating a second job for yourself. The, the bottom line is literally all it took, all Adam did was put the doctor's name, phone number, email address, and her business name into uh, an online form, and then the ERC uh, only team took over after that. Um, so it's a super easy process. Um, and it's just asking a couple of questions. So let me just say that, and then I'll shut up, Dave, and you can ask me questions. So um, so if, uh, so for Adam, when he talked to this person, he thought of who are all the people that I know who own businesses. So for you guys, you all know who owns businesses. You have self-employed borrowers that you've helped. Um, and, um, you know, hey, borrower, hey, by the way, how many um, how many employees, W-2 employees did you have during COVID? Oh, you had seven. Awesome. Hey, have you heard of the employee retention credit? Um, yes or no? And they're going to say no, probably. Over 30% of the people that, that we've talked to have never heard of it. And then you're going to say, awesome. Do you mind if I have someone from our ERC group reach out and tell you how you could potentially get up to $26,000 employee as a tax credit, really free money um, for uh, being nominally impacted by COVID during that time? They're going to say yes, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. And from there, you can get a potentially a 
uh, referral fee that uh, isn't insignificant. So guys, so check this out. So I'm, I'm, you know, this idea just hit, you know, within the past 30 days. And, and um, you know, here's a couple of things I know. First of all, anything Bill Hillstad is involved in, uh, I endorse and support. Um, secondly, I, I personally know a lot of um, business owners, um, small and medium size that are killing it. You know, like they're, 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 they're getting refunds. I even know people that said, oh, I talked to my CPA and they said no. And then they talked to Bill Hillstad's people and they said yes. So those are like data points I know. And then now I'm hearing Todd Bookspan is making that one of the top ways that he can help people in, in December of 2020 or, or 22. And who knows how long Todd will be talking about this in 23, but it is a real way to help people in this market. And, and especially for realtors, you know, like they all know business people. And if I was a realtor, I'd be like, alert, you know, like my whole database, did you know about this? And then to hear, not only is it a good conversation to help people, but there's, you know, there's a way to actually make some, some income with it. And it's Bill Hillstead and Todd Bookspan. So anyways, I'm a fan. I'm waiting to hear more success stories on this. Um, you know, Todd, is there anything, you, I mean, you made it pretty simple. Um, it looks like there's a link to an actual video to learn more. And then there's a link to, um, you know, actually sign up for the referral program. It's Todd's, Todd Bookspan's referral program. So um, anything else you want to say before we move on to it? Because by the way, I do have one, like when you're calling people and you want to help realtors, I mean, I do have an idea, but anything else you want to say before we um, move on to another idea? Yeah, let me just throw a couple things out there and then I'll move on from it. Number one is, yeah, one link is to sign up to be a referral partner, right? That's the second link that's in there um, that's got ERC only in it. Uh, and then the other link is really the information that you need to have in order to understand it enough to tell somebody, but you just don't need to know a lot. You just need to know, Hey, did you have the employees? Do you know about it or not? Dave, you called out the number one pushback that we've gotten is I was already told I don't qualify. Um, and so, you know, granted the accounting firm takes a piece of it, but the, the CEO of the mortgage company I talked to yesterday said, well, I was told no. And so even if I have to give up a, a chunk in order to get yes, which especially a seven figure, yes, is pretty good. You know, they're all in. And, um, and so that's the biggest thing is I was told, no, I was told, no, I was told, no. And the, the rules have changed and it's so complex that most CPAs can't do it. So that's gotta be your thing is, Hey, well, what do you have to lose? Why don't you try? Um, cause that's what this doctor lady said, and she's getting 160 grand. Um, and then number two is, uh, you know, again, it's don't, don't overthink it. You don't have to spend a ton, ton of time on it. You just have to get the information and it's an easy conversation to have with your realtors because they have call reluctance too, right? What are they going to talk to their clients about? And so they say, Hey, awesome. You know, it's a great conversation for them to pick up the phone and call them. And then just to clarify two pieces of it, right? You get a 1% referral fee. Um, so you get 1% of whatever they're getting as a check. And then if you sign up a realtor and they refer people, they get 1%, but you only get a quarter of a percent. And so that's okay. really how it, you know, that's really how it works. So obviously full clarity, if you sign up underneath me and you refer somebody over, then I get a quarter percent and you get 1% of when that, when that goes through and it's moving pretty quick, you know, it's really moves as quick as the client moves, but you know, so far the slowest one that we've had go through is three weeks and the fastest one will have one that gets through in less than a week because the client is desperate for some cash. So that's the other area. Think about a, a refinance that you couldn't do for a small business owner because they wrote off too much. Um, or they had too much debt. Um, my team has one they referred over and she has $70,000 worth of credit card debt that she's amassed to try to keep her business afloat. Um, she can't get a small business loan. She can't refinance because her DTI is too high and she has no co-borrowers. And so she's going to go through this program and then Bill's created a way for someone to get funding immediately. So as soon as it's so such a sure thing, they've had the accounting firm has gotten over $4 billion back for almost 5,000 people. Um, it's such a sure thing that as soon as you get the submitted to the IRS, they'll actually cut you a check. They take a haircut for it, but this lady's desperate for money. So she'll do that in order to get money today. Um, she'll literally have money within two weeks of talking to our team, um, you know, to get it going. So that, that'd be the only other piece I would throw in there, Dave, um, on it. And then just, you know, again, ping me if you have any other questions. So I don't want to, I want to hear your big idea, Dave, of what to talk to about realtors, uh, to realtors about that's exciting to me. Well, I'm going to be pretty quick about it because, 
it, it's it's not a new idea for this community, but let's face it, you know, one of the biggest challenges realtors have is um, buyers and sellers are worried about values going down. You know, they're concerned about how rate, how high rates are and affordability. And I would just make sure that you guys have, um, you know, some seller buy down TCAs that you've already done. Now, when you're trying to make 100 calls in a day, that is not the day to like, hey, let me show you how this seller buy down works and get into complex conversations. But it is to how you doing, connect, hear what the problems are, and then schedule follow-ups. You know, like, like, hey, I want to schedule 15 minutes with you at a coffee shop and I can show you how to how we're solving the affordability challenge. I can show you how, oh, you have a lot of listings and you have a listing that you're getting ready to do a price reduction. Let's schedule 15 minutes and let me show you how I'm using two one buy downs, seller buy downs, three two buy downs, arms, whatever. Like be ready. Like what are the most common problems people have? Uh, it's it's you know reducing prices on listings because they're not selling, getting buyers off the fence and into escrow. Make sure you you got some go to things, and then just be ready to close on. 15 minute conversations. And then Todd just gave you a new one that's like hot off the press, breaking news, this ERC opportunity. It's it's real. Like, like you could help um, anybody that's got employees, um, you know, you've got a resource and it doesn't sound like it has any upfront costs or any risk, um, but I'll leave that to Todd. You know, check out the links, check out the value. We got six minutes left, Todd. What do we want to cover? So, so I think you kind of nailed it too. It's 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 what's the what's the conversation behind the conversation and what is the next conversation you're gonna have with the realtor? So as I'm doing this hundred call day, right? I'm looking for what's my next engagement with them and how am I gonna to continue to build rapport? So I'm not gonna give them every um, you know, tool in my tool belt on that first conversation, but I'll be thinking about what the next conversation is. Um, I'm not gonna lead with. Um, hey, did you see the new conforming loan limit? I'm not going to lead with the 2-1 buy down, although I believe that that's going to be um, a huge conversation piece with a lot of these conversations. Um, and I'm going to use that if I don't use it in the first one, I, I know I'll use that in, in the second one. You need to have those things, but that's what they're hearing from everybody else. And so that's why I think business planning should be your number one because everyone needs to business plan. Um, and then you can sort of talk through, like I've got my group coaching group doing masterminds. Um, and so I've given them the, the conversations to have each week during the mastermind that they're running. So, you know, I know that since Matt Baker started a mastermind um, and we did the first one last month, that that he'll be inviting people to the mastermind. Um, you know, that's scary for people. That's not probably your first thing. That's why I'm creating the easy button of that of that uh, that one small step of the of the business planning class. Um, and so I will. Um, since I talk so fast and I will, I will do kind of a step-by-step -step. here's, here's the script. Here's the links to the business planning webinars and why, which one you need to attend and why. Um, and I'll do a video of that make sure everyone who's going to be on that hundred call challenge has access to that so that you're prepared for that call with that script. So I'll get you guys some, some stuff up front to be armed for success. All right, guys. So we're, you know, we're running out of time. You know, this will be over in just a couple minutes. If there are any last minute questions, I'm gonna I'm gonna scan um, chat real quick uh, so people have asked about the ERC program. Uh, by the way, I would love to just know, you know, is this something that sounds interesting to folks? So if you one, if you're already doing it or you're already familiar with it, I'd love to know that. You know, I always like to just track what's hot in the mortgage coach community. Or if you just heard this and you're like, oh, that's awesome, I'm on it. Um, I just signed up, you know, let me know in chat. If you're watching this in YouTube, uh, let us know. Uh, Virginia says, pressing in, running to the finish line. Thank you, Todd, for your leadership. Oh, I love Virginia. Virginia's got a realtor or two signed up underneath her that are referring as well. And so again, that's that's the fun part about this is that Bill's built one where you can you can share the wealth with others. Um, I think the most important person is the business owner, um, but the second most important is you and then your referral partners that might um, see this as an opportunity as well. Yeah, so think of this guy as just public service announcement for um, employers. And, 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 and to me, if I'm a real estate agent, I'm a local referral-based 
professional, uh, which by the way, loan officers and realtors are, this should be a PSA that you're getting out in the market. Uh, it could give a lot of hope for people. And, and, and then from what I'm hearing, it can actually deliver a real, a real cash return on folks. And, and so cool. So two minutes left, closing words, Todd. What's holding you back? Right. That's that's the question I have for you. And uh, what I tend to find holds me back is this thing right here between my ears, which is my brain and my my personal call reluctance. And my goal is that by giving you a little bite sized script, by giving you a couple of action items where you can invite people to a webinar on business planning, which is what they all want and need and. Um, and by adding that layer of accountability, by letting you see other people doing the thing that you need to be doing um, on Monday, um, by making the commitment, I think that's really it is why not you, why not commit? Um, and in the end, I understand um, 100 may sound overwhelming, but I know with 100% certainty that you could call 50 um, successfully. Like nobody here shouldn't be able to call 50 people. Nobody here doesn't know 50 people. So I'm going to invite you along um, on this journey because the number one thing that Dave and I um, and Deborah, when she's here, want for this community is your success. And your 2023 success actually has already started. And this is a great first step. All right, guys. So my closing words are this, you know, as we close out the year, I'm, I'm, I always go through start, stop. You know, what am I going to stop doing what am i going to start doing you know and you know as a leader in the industry you know i work hard to be a change agent for um advice over price you know i've dedicated my career to that and so you know one thing i know i'm going to start doing in 2023 is interviewing more executives and leaders and managers around leadership around change management around you know how to how to turn ideas into action so um, you know, you, you, you'll see more executives that I interview on our YouTube channel and in our Facebook group. Um, I would love to know hot topics. So just know if I've given you value with this mortgage coach community, um, a great way to pay me back is ideas and suggestions. And if there's things that I'm, I need to keep doing, you know, like keep, stop, start, like Dave, don't stop X. Dave, you, you don't have to worry about the stops. Of course, if there is something like, I have people every once in a while that stop clapping at the beginning. I can already tell you right now, I'm not going to stop <laughs> doing that because um, it fires me up. It's like it's like my trigger game on. Uh, there's a whole backstory to that, but I'm not going to stop that. Um, but if there, but if there is, you know, something you want me to start doing more of as the chief innovation officer for Sales Boomerang and Mortgage Coach, now is the time to tell me. Like by the end of this month, I will have uh, got a plan. I will have goals. I will have already made that list. And so just reminder to anyone that tunes into our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, this is the time to give me an idea. Um, thank you for that nice feedback. I really appreciate everyone. Um, Gainita, so love that name, Gaita Holy. Uh, I hope I said your name somewhat right. Uh, so guys, super grateful, Gainita. All right, thank you, Gainita. Um, grateful for everyone that tunes in to our YouTube channel, our Facebook group. Uh, Todd, it was really fun for me to, you know, interview you. Uh, um, of course, you did go back and forth from killer producer to coach to industry change agent to sharing a whole new idea, this whole ERC strategy. Um, you know, I, you, you weren't the first person I heard it from, but you're like the second or third. And it's going to be interesting to see the kind of value that creates for business owners and loan officers and realtors. So I appreciate you, brother. Dude, so much fun. I'm uh, grateful always to share. And Who's my fifth, bro? Give me a, give All right. a little. Oh, sorry. Don't want to leave you hanging. Um, yeah. I, I'm just always grateful for, you know, the time that you and I get to spend together and always grateful for Robert behind the scenes um, and Deborah, you, Robert. but really for everyone else. I mean, and, and so I just mean it from, you know, the bottom of my heart to you. I mean, we're here. Um, Dave used the word change agent. We're here to be a change agent in your lives. And it's up to you to take that next step. And, uh, you know, in this case, the stuff that we're talking about today is all free. So it's not like we're telling you, asking you to write a check or spend any money. We're just asking you to jump in, say yes, and uh, improve your lives and the lives of those around you. Right on, everybody. Take care. Have a good one, y'all. All right, guys.